So when you come to me and you say, I need to, I need a bed to lay in. I need to, something that I can, uh, can scratch myself on, you know. If you come to me, you come in friendship, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'll do you this favor, okay? And then, uh, one day I'm going to come to you and I'm going to, and that day may never come, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll ask you for, for a service in return, okay? Okay, time to make a pet bed. We have to have a pet bed to get the animals off of our furniture. Uh, the cat, the fat cat, likes to be up higher where the other dogs, the little dogs can't mess with her. Uh, I don't know, she's just like that. She's neurotic. Uh, this is the materials I'll be using for the bed. Uh, I got a small headboard, it's a kid's headboard. It's really low to the ground, it's not very wide. Perfect for something like this. The headboard's the backdrop. We're gonna paint all this stuff up to match. Uh, you're gonna have a box, basically, that will hold the mattress and support uh, the corners of it with these legs. Um, and then you can have your padding, your material, all that stuff. But since this is a pet bed and they are hairy, then we're going to make the cover, the material that covers the foam, removable so that you can just take it off and throw it in the washing machine and clean it right up and put it back on. So, let's get started. So I've got all my pieces cut for the box, the framework. Uh, right now it just looks like a bunch of junk, but this piece of Luan is going to give some rigidity to the frame so that it, uh, it'll be nice and stable. Again, this is going to be a pet bed, so it doesn't have to be able to hold 200 or 300 pounds, but that's kind of the box. These are some just blocks I'm going to put in the corners so that I can screw through those and they'll go into the top of the legs that are going to go under there to support the front of it. These already have legs on the back of this. This whole box will mount at the same level as this board on the headboard here. And then these go inside and go against the walls like that to support the three quarter inch piece of plywood that is actually going to be the base of the, the foam and the material and all that, the seat itself. So the foam and the material when it's all done will probably be a couple inches above the top of this board right here, but that's the basic box. Once I get that put together, then I'll mount it to the headboard and uh, we'll see what that looks like. filming your butt we're pretty much at a stopping point until we get the cover sewn to go on the top the cover is going to be a piece of wool 
that is actually from the same mattress that these pieces of foam came out of. So as you can see right here, I've got two pieces of foam that go in, and then the third one slides right in there beside of it. And I only got one hand, I can't put it in there, but they fit in there perfect. So the first step to getting the piece of fabric to cover the foam is gonna to be to cut a top piece that's gonna be the same exact size as the top of the foam, and the foam is 18 by 30 inches. So I'm gonna cut that exact size. Now I'm not gonna allow for a hem on it of a half an inch on either side, because when I sew it, I want it to be a little bit smaller than 30 by 18, so that when it stretches and gives and has a little bit of play in it, it'll squish the cushion in just a little bit and hug it and make it just a little bit tighter so there's not a bunch of wrinkles and it's nice and taut across the top of it. It's not, it's got brush strokes in it. It's not, it's not a perfect paint job. We're not looking for a perfect paint job. We don't want it covered completely and we want to see some brush strokes. You know, that's going to add some character to the piece. So we'll go over it with this gray and then we will come back over it with some white and give it a whitewash. that you know we're making a bed for animals uh, that's a little bit over the top for what you know most people get for their pets <laughs> so why not go all out and make it a padded headboard It's got the little curves and stuff. It'll go right on the headboard, look perfect. Glory! Well, it's finished. She's thrilled. She loves it. Her big old head. Uh, we like the headboard, the padded headboard. It ties in with the ottoman. It was actually made with some leftover material and foam from the ottoman. I mean, we just keep using the same remnants over and over to keep making new stuff. It's all cheap, it's all free. Uh, she's thrilled with it. She won't move except to get up and eat. I don't know, what do you think of the white, Polly? Not a fan. Yeah, I'm not so sure that the white turned out to be something that we like. 
I think maybe we should have painted the whole thing gray. So we might go back and paint the white box gray, but Fat Chewy seems okay with it, don't you, girl? Always remember to spay and neuter your pets and adopt, don't shop. There's tons of animals out there that need good homes. Sometimes mutts are the best pets to have anyway. Uh, we adopted these two little chihuahuas and uh, Chewy we saved from uh, a kill shelter. So she's thrilled to be around and we're thrilled to have them. They're great, great pets. And uh, they're definitely a big part of our house. Chewy, what are you doing?